Welcome to News Talk with Simone Ivani at the International News Channel. On today's episode, we talk entertainment and the upcoming TV series, Kraka. Kraka follows the story of a contemporary white supremacist who is transported back in time to a different version of history. In this alternate past, African Americans rule while the whites are enslaved. Controversial, isn't it? Director Dale Restegeny was inspired by the rise of white supremacy in the world in recent times and took it upon himself to portray a new idea of racism in the media. The historical twist really holds up a lens to the history of America and the present reality of America. Question is, is the public ready to see something like this? Joining us today to discuss Kraka is actor Hakeem K. Kazim. Hakeem plays the role of Dex Jackson, the slave master in this production. Hakeem's previous work include roles in Hotel Rwanda, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End, King Kong, and more. So first of all, thank you for joining me, Hakeem. Real pleasure, Simone. Real pleasure. So we're going to be talking about your new TV series, Kraka. And I guess I just want to first ask you, was it inspired by real stories of people who were enslaved or just based on general trends at the time? No, it's inspired by the whole sort of... Uh, coming together of the Black Lives Matter movement, uh, you know, uh, the history in terms of uh, what had happened to African Americans within, uh, within uh, you know, within America and, uh, and, 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 uh, and uh, the actual sort of uh, history of slavery. So I was inspired by all of those, but bringing it in now was really a case of how do we show what has happened with people like George Floyd and, and, and Trayvon Martin, how do we show that this is being repeated in history and how do we sort of make a change and make this, uh, uh, give a voice to something like that from a different perspective, something that might uh, get people to really sort of sit up and listen. I, I hear you, but in your opinion, is this series mirroring the way that black slaves were treated historically? And if so, then why is this important to be showcased today? It, it's mirror, it is mirroring the way black slaves were treated in one sort of sense. Uh, but, it, you know, what it is doing is putting exactly what you just said. It's putting a mirror up to nature. Uh, so, you know, sometimes people don't relate completely unless they see, it, see themselves in that thing. So that was the whole idea. And I think that's why some of the responses were so sort of uh, 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 intense was because mm -hmm. suddenly people were seeing themselves uh, being affected in this sort of way and uh, it really emotionally it takes that extra strain on you when you see yourself reflected in that way it's much more sort of uh, intense it's much more powerful because sometimes when you're looking at these things it's easy to distance yourself it's easy to see that other that those as others they're not you so they're their distance so you can take that step away from it this just reverses reverses the roles to make you to make people really aware that uh, in a way they're but for the grace of God mm. and how, how did you become a part of this project then well I was uh, you know I, I will some uh, you know Dale uh, uh, approached me and said look I've got this fantastic idea and uh, you know when he when he spoke to me about it and took me through the process and what he was thinking I thought this is this is fantastic. This will really sort of uh, resonate, and uh, I like to do stories that have uh, you know that sometimes are very difficult, and, but certainly stories that will resonate in, in, in some sort of sense that have a deeper uh, meaning. Uh, so uh, it was very much up my street. Was there something in particular that Dale told you that stuck out to you, or what, what made you agree to do it? The whole con concept. I mean, just conceptually, it's, it's, it, for me, it was uh, you know I loved it. It's fantastic. Uh, you know, just the idea of flipping history on it. So I was surprised that actually, you know what, I'm surprised that this hasn't been done before. Um, so just flipping history on its head and uh, and, and, and really trying to show, uh, you know, show people what if this was you, how would how would you feel? How would you, how, how would this affect you? Um, and just giving people a sense of uh, uh, trying to identify more closely with what happened and what is happening. I hear you, but this role is quite different than what you've done in the past. So was there any way you prepared for this role, any particular way? In the way that I prepared sort of for most of my roles, you know, just trying to find the truth within the character. So, you know, for me, you know, he, he, 
he justifies everything he does. You know, he's living in a particular time where this is, uh, you know, for him to make money, this is the way he, 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 do, he does it. And, uh, and this is uh, the way that uh, um, uh, his culture and his uh, system has, has done it. And this is a completely sort of justifiable way. So really it's about finding his own journey, the man's own journey and his own sort of humanity in one sort of sense, even though on, when you look at it, you think this guy is completely in, in, inhuman. But from his own perspective, he doesn't feel that. He feels very justified in what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so speaking of your character, you play a slave master in the TV series, and there are some pretty gruesome scenes that are led by that character. Do, do you have anything to say about that? What was it like to play such a role? I mean, it's, again, you sort of, you know, it's about really jumping yourself into it and uh, really committing to the character, trying to find your justification for him being and doing what he does and then taking it from there. So sometimes it's hard, but I think, you know, that's also part of the uh, 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 enjoyment of being an actor. How are you anticipating the public to react to this series? I think, you know, in a variety of ways. I mean, I think some people are going to really be appalled by it and say, you know, and then some people are going to really love it and, uh, and uh, understand why it was done and empathize with it. So, uh, you know, not everybody loves what, everything that you do. So, you know, one has to accept that. And uh, I hope that it, uh, it resonates and I hope that it, it's a talking point. You know, that's the main thing. I think we've done our job if it, if it becomes a talking point one way or the other. So you, you do acknowledge that people, after seeing the initial trailer for it, people are talking. And the reception, in your opinion, has it been good, bad? I know controversial I for sure. Controversial is, the, is what I would say it's been. And, on, you know, and that's the main thing. It's been very controversial one way or the other. Some, as you say, some people really see it and feel it and understand it. Some people are appalled by it because they feel, you know, because they feel that it, it, it's, it's playing the other card and, 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 and uh, reigniting so, a, a debate that should not be uh, a said. But I could say, you know, when we see these films about the Holocaust and, and, and are we reigniting the debate or are we educating? Um, and that's the way I would put that in this, in that sort of, in this space. You know, it's about really getting people to understand the historical uh, uh, actualities of slavery and also trying to make them understand the contemporary issues that have evolved from that period. Yeah. To my knowledge, there have been two petitions that have been released to stop the production of this series. They take two starkly different perspectives on why this series should not be released. I'd be very interested to know your take on these perspectives. So the first petition argues that the movie exploits the historical oppression and pain that black people have experienced for personal profit and entertainment. What, do you, what are your thoughts on that? I don't know. That I don't. I don't agree with. I think uh, you know. It's, it's like as I said to you. You know, there, there are stories on, on 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 the Second World War, the First World War, the Holocaust. You know, can you say the same about them? No. I think that's a lot of the time people are afraid to address uh, Black history. They're afraid to allow that voice to come on because and that these voices, our voices, now has not been heard in the way that it needs to be heard and, and should be heard. And uh, a lot of that comes from, uh, I don't know what, but a lot of it comes from uh, the fear of, of really understanding, of people really understanding the level of depravity that went on during this period. And I think we need to, we need to show people, we need to, uh, our story needs to be told in its honesty and in, in, and in its entirety so that we can balance the playing field. The second petition argues that this series, and particularly the part of the trailer that reads, you took our breath away, what if we took yours? You raped our daughters, what if we raped yours? You stole our freedom, now we steal yours, may enable violence and animosity against white people. In your opinion, does this viewpoint have any merit? No, it's really about people understanding and, 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 and this thing is about showing, reflecting it, a mirror up to society making sure that people understand that um, it's not about encouraging violence, it's really about trying to under encourage empathy so that you can see what the others have gone through, so you can relate to that other and not distance yourself to it. If, if, you, were to, if you were to, in one sentence, tell me what you want viewers to take away from this series, what would you say? Understanding. You want people to understand it. That's absolutely fair enough. 
And speaking of you personally, do you have any upcoming projects that fans can look forward to? Um, well, I'm actually working on something now. I'm working on a TV series uh, called Dangerous Liaisons, which will be coming out, uh, I suppose, in the, in, in, in the later on this year. Um, so that's the one I'm working on. And then there's a TV series called The Watch, which has just come out, and uh, something which is coming out called uh, Intergalactic, and that's on Sky One. So if people watch out, they can see some, they can see me in those. And also, I'm out now on King Kong versus Godzilla, so I make a little appearance in that. If people are going to watch that on their uh, TV sets. Yeah. Sounds amazing. Good luck for everything, and thank you for joining me. Thank you, Simone, and uh, thank you for having me. Bless you. Go well. <laughs> thank you all for tuning in. You're watching the International News Channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with our latest videos. Until next time, I am Simone Ivani.